What we're talking about here is giving children the opportunity to actually feed their brains and feed their blood vessels and feed their bodies, their three trillion member internal community with food that's real food and, um, and not something that's concocted, that's, uh, that's completely abnormal in the history of mankind. And um, when we feed this three trillion member internal community what it wants to eat, uh, we, our bodies actually function better and it builds a community that, uh, that allows us to have more energy um, spiritually, mentally, academically, and physically so that we can perform to our, our uh, greatest uh, personness and reach to our potential, and that's worth doing. And this community doesn't know about, uh, uh, um, didn't grow up. It, it didn't, it, it hasn't known until very recent days about foods that you can't pronounce. Foods that you can't do in your own kitchen. Have you ever tried to make high fructose corn syrup in your kitchen? Um, I mean, I, you know, I want to get up on Times Square sometimes and yell to the world, you know what? This ain't normal. You know, this is not, it's not normal to eat food that you can't pronounce, that you can't fix in your own kitchen. It just shows how important it is to start with children really, really early because food is one of the most, um, um, one of the most, memorable, uh, visceral, memorably programmed things that we develop as, as humans. And the earlier we start with, uh, with good taste and good texture and good nutrients, that will carry on into life. It's time for lunch.